making his TV debut. Let's hear it for Dan Harumi. Thank you, thank you. I was in uh, Chinatown today. I was at my favorite noodle shop. I was talking to you guys, it's kind of gross. I was taking a bite of noodles and I looked up and I saw that green bee on the front door, the bee from the health department. <laughs> it's pretty gross. And I went outside, I looked down the block. Every restaurant in Chinatown has a bee. <laughs> I think Chinatown's the only place where Chinese people are okay getting a bee. <laughs> Like, 88 in your math test, we're beating you with the broom. Rats in the kitchen, you did your best. <laughs> Hang in there. A little bit about myself, I uh, carry a backpack with me everywhere I go. I'm one of those guys, I gotta carry a backpack because I like to eat snacks and I'm on the move. Uh, it's weird though, sometimes I'll end up in a restaurant by myself, I won't know what to do with my backpack. Like, I don't want to put it on the floor because I think it'll get dirty but I also don't want to put it in the adjacent chair, because then it looks like I'm on a date with my backpack. <laughs> it's like, I'll have the Caesar salad, she'll have pencils. <laughs> Boom. Cute joke. <laughs> I'm uh, real broke right now. Uh, I've been looking for a job uh, for a long time. I've been looking for a job for so long, I'm on Craigslist, and I'm in the et cetera section. <laughs> like, it's, I don't know how to describe this job I'm looking for, I'm just looking. I'll take what's there, I guess. If you go into the et cetera section of Craigslist, there's always an ad for sperm donor. They just know at some point you're gonna be desperate enough to donate sperm. I've been looking at this ad for months. Like, am I this broke? Do I need money this bad? Finally, the other day, I broke down, like, you know, I do need the money. Clicked on the link, opened up the sperm donor website. Uh, first thing on a sperm donor website is a list of requirements to be a sperm donor. Uh, requirement number one, you have to be five foot nine or above. I'm five foot seven. I don't know if you guys have ever considered jerking off for money and then found out you weren't qualified for it. <laughs> that shit hurts. It's like, if you do qualify to donate sperm, you get like $1,500 a month or something crazy. It's okay, fine. Maybe my sperm's not worth $1,500, but how about food, <laughs> right? A chocolate chip cookie, some orange juice. I just jerked off in a doctor's office. Give me some gum. I got some thinking to do. Like I said, I'm uh, five foot seven, which is average height. Uh, when I was growing up though, I used to like, I was always hoping I was gonna be like a big strong dude. I wanted to grow up and be a big strong. Now as I'm getting older, I'm realizing there are drawbacks to being a big strong dude. Like if you're a big strong dude, everybody will ask you to crack their back. No one will ever ask me to crack their back. The thing is though, I'm also not like a tiny person, so you're not gonna ask me to walk on your back. I'm in that nice middle area where I can't do shit for your back. I can recommend a chair, probably. I know a good chair. Need some money. One thing you can do in New York City, if you need money, you can work as an extra in movies and TV shows. That's what I do. Uh, they really treat you like shit when you're an extra in New York because they have so many people to pull from. I've noticed the only time I ever get treated well is when I know they need an Asian guy. <laughs> All of a sudden, my stock price goes through the roof. <laughs> it's like the thing is, there's only like a handful of Asian actors in New York. Like, have like you ever watching like a movie and you see like five Asian guys in the background? Uh, one of them is me. <laughs> like, If you ever see more than five Asian guys, one of us ran off camera and changed our clothes. <laughs> We're hoping you don't notice. It's like, hey, you can fire us, but you're gonna have to CGI this karate scene. <laughs> it's gonna get expensive. Actually, last summer, I was uh, an extra in a big Hollywood blockbuster movie. Uh, they made me sign a non-disclosure agreement, so I can't tell you guys what the movie was. Uh, so let's just say it involves turtles. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Teenage Mutants Ninja Turtles, okay. Just making sure. 
I feel like when they first named Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they could have left the teenage part out. Right? I think we all would have watched Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think their age is easily the least impressive of their four attributes. That's why they had to put it at the beginning of the name. It wouldn't make sense anywhere else. It's like, hey, did you hear about these mutated turtles? They learn martial arts. But get this, they're teenagers. Whoa! <laughs> I've heard of Mutant Ninja Turtles, but not under the age of 20. <laughs> that is remarkable. <laughs> I don't know, it's, uh, being in New York and being broke is hard. Moving to New York broke was even worse. I remember looking for an apartment. Looking for an apartment with no money in New York is horrible, it's so expensive. I remember being on Craigslist and seeing an ad for an apartment that I knew I couldn't afford before I even looked at the price. Just from like the title of the post. The post title said, Stunning Apartment. <laughs> Pretty sure I can't afford to live in a stunning apartment. <laughs> Even if I could live in a stunning apartment, I wouldn't want to, like I'm a comic, I got shit to do, I can't be getting stunned all the time. <laughs> walking through my living room like shit, it happened again. <laughs> Boss asked me why I'm late for work, it's like, look dude, I got Victorian windows. <laughs> you try getting out of there, it's gorgeous. I don't know, I was, uh, I was at the grocery store the other day. I saw they were having a product recall for my favorite granola bar, uh, which I had just eaten an entire box of. <laughs> Hence my trip back to the grocery store. I don't know what listeria is, but I think the cure for it is eating six of those things <laughs> in succession. The thing is with product recall, product recall never really resonates with me because just the wording of it, like when I see recall, I think, like, remember? <laughs> like you recall something? So like the headline is like, Toyota recalls Corolla. In my head, that's just like a bunch of guys at Toyota, like, man, remember the Corolla? <laughs> that was a hell of a car. I don't know. Uh, I'm uh, 31 years old. Thank you. Uh, drink water, guys. Uh, 31 years old, but I'm still learning things I should have learned a really long time ago. Like, I just found out what a la carte means. <laughs> some of you guys are tensing up because you also don't know what it means. <laughs> Let me save you some time. A la carte means you order the thing and you just get the thing. <laughs> Shouldn't that just be how it is? Right, we all know what we want. I think the only reason they kept the French phrasing a la carte is because it sounds better in French than it would in English. Like in English, a la carte is, so you just want that? <laughs> so if you just want the steak, you cheap piece of shit, that's a la carte <laughs> in English. Uh, like I said, I'm uh, five foot seven. Uh, I'm five seven, but the, uh, the ceilings in my apartment are 10 feet high. Sometimes I just look up at the ceiling like, what the fuck am I paying for here? All right, why am I paying for all this empty space? Why am I paying the same rent as a 10 foot tall person? I can only enjoy half of this apartment. That's bullshit. I hate paying for things and not using them. That's why I don't like buying bananas at the grocery store. When you buy bananas at the grocery store, they charge you by the pound, even though like half the weight of a banana is in the peel. What the fuck am I gonna do with the banana peel? All right, this isn't Mario Kart. I can't do something cool with the banana peel. If I'm gonna buy a banana, I want a banana and a napkin to hold it with. I want that banana a la carte, please. All right, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>